Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, we're going to check out Google's latest update to the Keyword Planner in Google Ads. We're going to look at the new Refine Keywords feature. This new feature automatically groups keyword suggestions together, making it easier for us to narrow down our keyword research. The groupings you see will be based on the keywords you've entered into the planner. For example, if we're researching gym shoes, then we'll see groups for shoe brands, types of shoes and colors. Then if we're researching a different keyword, we'll see other automatic groupings. Okay, let's head to Google Ads and check out the new Refine Keywords feature. I've already logged into my Google Ads account, so I'm going to select Tools and Settings and then Keyword Planner. Now I'm going to select Discover New Keywords. And to begin using the Keyword Planner, we need to enter at least one keyword or enter the URL of a website to begin our research. I'm going to start by entering Dry Skin, which is the example Google has used on their support page about the new Refine Keywords feature. Now I'm going to click Get Results. We can now see the Refine Keywords panel loads on the right of the Keyword Planner. In the centre, we can see the keyword we searched for, along with all of the other keyword suggestions. We can see all of the groupings that Google is automatically suggesting on the right. We can see there are groupings for branded and non-branded keywords, including Dove, Neutrogena and other terms. We can then see groupings for products, body part, skin type and more. We can click on any of these groupings to see the different attributes that have been automatically identified in the suggested keywords. Let's select body part. We can now see we have face, feet, hands and so on. To narrow down the suggested keywords, we can focus on particular attributes. For example, let's select body part to deselect all of the options. And now let's select face. The Keyword Planner updates to include keywords related to our selection. Now let's select brand and non-brand and let's deselect the brand options so that we're focused on keyword suggestions that don't include brand names. Again, we can see the Keyword Planner updates and it no longer includes brand terms. Now I do want to highlight that this feature is still being developed, so I have found that some selections don't seem to provide really focused results. So take time to test out the Refine Keywords feature and remember, it's just one more way you can refine your keyword research. I also want to mention that you can continue to use the filtering option in the Keyword Planner along with your refinement selections. For example, let's say I only want to see keywords that include the word face. To do this, we just need to select Add Filter. Then we can select Keyword and enter Face. Now we can click Apply. Our keyword suggestions have been updated and now we're only looking at non-branded terms relating to the face that also include the word face. That's it. So that's how you can use the new Refine Keywords feature in your Google Ads account. Remember that you can also use filters in the Keyword Planner to further refine your keyword research. And if you're just getting started with the Keyword Planner or need a quick refresh, then check out my video covering the Keyword Planner in Google Ads. You can find a link in the description below this video. Have you used the new Refine Keywords feature? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.